these gates, portals, valves, doors are awesome. Cyclopean whopper of a place you've got here. He's the kind of guy who used to pummel, batter, humiliate, beat me up when I was a kid.
This place is technology circuits, nerve center. Cool. There you are, Team Echo, just in time. Welcome, Rangers, officers. I'll give a more detailed briefing in a moment, but Mer Captain tells me Lieutenant Woodson will be sending us a live feed any second, so we'll wait for that. What I will tell you now is that we have sent Woodson with Ranger Team Foxtrot to Los Angeles to establish a base of operations. And so far, things are going well. In the last 48 hours, they have found a water source, begun building a perimeter wall, and have started seeking the source of the signal you helped us pinpoint. Once they've found it, you, Team Echo, will follow to help reinforce our presence there and learn more about the area. How are we coming on that feed, Mer Captain? Any second, General. Unfortunately, until we connect with the source of that powerful Los Angeles signal, contact with Woodson on the ground will be impossible. Only a radio operating above 2,000 feet is capable of receiving signals from Arizona over the intervening mountains. We have arranged a call at this hour while Chopper 1 is in flight, in the hope of surmounting that we... Ah, looks like that signal is coming in now. Thank you, Mer Captain. Put it on the speakers. Very good, sir. Just one moment. Chopper One, this is Ethel Mer Captain at Citadel Base. Relaying your feed to the General. Do you read me? Roger, Citadel Base. Reading you loud and clear. And howdy, Snake. It's a beautiful day in Southern California. How do, Angela? Tell me what you're seeing. Roger, General. This is our first flight heading west of Santa Fe Springs, and so far it's more of the same. Just like yesterday. I know I keep going on about it, but this place is huge. The ruins go on for hundreds of miles. Hundreds. An endless grid of empty streets and wrecked buildings with only a few signs of life. Smoke from chimneys, farming in empty lots, locals coming out to look up at her chopper. Nothing big yet. No radio tower capable of... Holy shit. Excuse me, General, but I'm sorry. Just made visual contact with a, a large body of water. I've never... General, I think I'm looking at the Pacific Ocean. I, I've never seen water this big. It's bigger than the land. I... wow. Captain Death, I have visual on some larger structures. On your two, seal beach coordinates. Roger, pilot, I see him. General, we're coming up on, well, kinda looks like a warehouse or a factory, but I've never seen anything so large or... Captain, structures are occupied. Repeat, occupied. I have visual on unidentified bogies on ground to the south and west inside compound. Advise. Go ahead, Joey. But take it slow. I want a closer look. Just prepare for evasive action on my signal. Got it? Roger, Captain. Proceeding. Seeing some impressive stuff here, General. Place looks to be in good repair and well-maintained. Fresh coat of paint and everything. Looks like there's a large community growing up around it, too. Some kind of... Captain, clean visual on bogies. I... Ma'am? I don't think they're human. 
Coordinates, pilot. Coordinates. I don't want to... On your nine, Captain. They look like... Robots. Well, shut my mouth. General, we got eyes on the bogeys in the compound, and they're robots. Big robots. More than twice the size of any robot I've ever seen, and most definitely military. I'm seeing weapon and targeting systems, military markings, and it looks like they're taking a defensive posture around the perimeter of the compound. Tell them to get out of there, Mer-Captain. I don't like the sound of that. Yes, General. Chopper 1, pull out. General's orders. I repeat, take... Captain, we are being targeted. Recommend the base of action now. 10-4, pilot. Hardaway North. Heading 008. Excuse me, General. We are going to have to get the fuck out of here. Bogey's firing, Captain. We have one, three, four, four, four missiles incoming. West two point. Climb, climb! Still on our tail, Captain. It's like they're following us. Jesus, fuck. What kind of tech are we dealing with here? Away to great for impact. Hold on! Mayday, mayday. We are hit. We're going down! We're going down! Angela, I... Rangers. Rangers, I, I cannot express the grief I'm feeling at this moment. To hear... To hear brave men and women on an errand of peace murdered without provocation or warning, I... Oh, forgive God. me. I don't know who did this, or why, but I will not allow it to turn us from our mission. Indeed, it has only increased my determination to establish the rule of law in Los Angeles. If the savages there are in possession of such terrifying firepower, then we are needed. The people must be freed from tyranny. Team Echo, you will fly to the base Team Foxtrot established in Santa Fe Springs and continue the work they began. Establish our base of operations, make contact with the locals, and find a radio tower that will allow the outpost to maintain contact with Ranger Citadel, and also to broadcast our message of law and hope to the community. Secondly, you have two primary tactical objectives. First, you will look for the source of the God's Militia and Children of the Citadel broadcast that we have been hearing, and brief us on what you find. Second, you will find out who or what shot down Chopper 1, and determine what kind of threat they pose to the region and to us. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, you will do your best to win the hearts and minds of the LA natives, and by your actions convince them to trust the Desert Rangers. You will do this by offering to help them in any way you can, whether it be by bringing raiders and outlaws to justice or by bringing food and water to the hungry. The people of Los Angeles must know that the Desert Rangers do not come to them as conquerors, but as lawbringers. It'll take us some time to put together all the supplies needed for your journey. So if you have any unfinished business in Arizona, or if you need to stock up on arms, armor, and ammo, now is the time to do it. Once you go to L.A., you will not be returning here until your primary missions are accomplished. That's all I have to say. Any questions? Watch out for that group. They seem to be calling for open warfare against the rest of the world. Keep your rifles clean and your powder dry. We don't know much about them except that they seem to be led by a madman who believes that man and machine should become one. Be careful in your investigations. They sound dangerous and unstable. Well, I suppose it's good that the RSM problem is resolved. Too bad we couldn't find a more peaceful solution, but at least they won't be harrying us anymore. Report to the helicopter pad when you are ready, and we'll send you on your way. Dismissed.
I admire his technical skill and all, but that guy makes me worry. Terror heebie-jeebies. Nervous. Yes, that's better. Oh, good to see you, Echo. I'm amazed to hear that you got the Scorpions to agree to a truce. I didn't think it was possible. That should work. Welcome back, Echo. Guess you might be looking for some gear for your mission to LA? I put aside an extra requisition for you. The General didn't order it, but I'm guessing he wants you geared up to the best of the Desert Ranger's ability before you go over the hill. Huh. If only I could turn cool straight into new tech. But I'm still intrigued. I'll take a look. Thanks. That must be why he took off. Handed in his resignation and couldn't clear out fast enough. Some very nice pieces. Let's see. I pulled out some of my best work for you. Based on what we've seen, well, heard. You're gonna need it in SoCal. I took a few of the microchips out of that portable video game system. Couldn't turn them into anything immediately useful, but I learned quite a bit. Still worth letting you look at some of my other gear. Some very nice pieces. Hmm. Nothing new for you. Looks like you're out of requisitions, Ranger. Thanks for visiting, recruits. Come by anytime. Or perhaps...
When I die, I want a hero's grave too. <laughs>